it was screenwriter, director, and explosive actor Michael Day. You may have seen him in films such as Stronger and The Equalizer. I've been following your career for a long time. So uh, first question, how would your childhood friends describe you? My childhood friends, um, I was real into sports. You know, I played hockey, uh, you know, the normal things, baseball, but I really excelled in hockey. Probably just, you know, autistic. I was always drawing. I, my grades were real bad, but uh, I, you know, I was able to be on the same level as the other students, the smart students, by my art, you know what I mean? Because I was always getting, like, you know, really, really good uh, art grades and, you know, all my, like, they had me make murals and all that stuff. So that's something I really latched on to was art, you know. Definitely. But, uh, yeah, they'd call me, probably call me autistic, you know, a great drawer, stuff like that. That's, that's amazing. And um, when did you know that acting was something and stuff that you wanted to pursue? Uh, I didn't find that out too much later, unlike most people. I uh, I was in Florida. Uh, I moved. Actually, I was in Boston, and then a couple of my friends got indicted. It was like a murder case and all this, and uh, ATF was questioning me. So I went to Florida to kind of get away from it. I went down there, and down there I got into adult website business. So I was, I was managing a bunch of adult websites. I do, was doing really well with that. You know, things were good, but I just I got sick of it and came back to Boston, sold my websites, and I auditioned for Donald Trump's The Apprentice. And uh, so before that, before I, after I got out of crime, actually I got into real estate because I didn't really know what to do. I just knew how to make money through crime and stuff. So I went to the library. There was no really no internet back then. So I was reading about like Donald Trump and you know different billionaires and stuff like that. But what, the book Out of the Deal by Donald Trump really inspired me. I got my real estate license. So after that, yeah, I moved to to Florida. Blah blah blah. So that's what you know when I was in real estate, like hustling, doing you know trying to sell buildings and all that stuff. So when I got back to uh, Boston after Florida, I. Uh, I auditioned for Donald Trump's The Apprentice. I was like, I'm going to get on this, definitely. And uh, so that inspired me to to get into acting. I didn't get on the show, but from that point, that was about 2004, I, I was like, I got to get into acting. So that's how that all started. Oh, man, that's incredible. And uh, I hear, you know, uh, you talk about, like, uh, going to Florida, and that uh, reminds me of, like, the film The Townies and stuff and everything that you wrote and directed that was, like, meant to be, like, the vehicle and stuff and everything for you. Yeah. But then I, what, one of the times I, I got one thing called Sides. You're an actor, you know. Uh, sides is basically a piece of a script, you know. So I, I was reading it, and I'm like, you know what? I could just, I could write my own, my own movie, you know, I mean, it, it started my own film. I don't have to be standing in front of people begging to, to be in that film. You have, you know, a fight scene with Denzel Washington, man. What was that experience like? Oh, man. So, yeah, so any aspiring actors watching this, um, if you go into an audition, say it's just like one scene or something like that, and maybe, you know, it, it's always a chance that that's going to lead to something else. Even if you don't get the role, the director might like you for a different movie he's doing. But in, in this case, I auditioned for like a one, two days uh, role. And the director liked me, uh, Anton Foucault, he liked me so much that he said, I want that dude for to play Rima, one of the lead guys that was like an eight week role. You know, so my, my, my income went from 2000 up to like 30,000. And uh, so, man, I was, real excited but anyway so i get the get the role and uh so i gotta go to the production office to meet denzel right so i'm sitting there on the couch i got uh, uh morton chokash in front of me you know i'm a big fan of him from triple x with Den with uh vin diesel and uh so he's there and i got uh uh david david Haber there he's been in a ton of shit lately he does uh, Stranger Things and all that. So I didn't know he was famous at the time. I remember saying to him, I was like, we're just sitting like in this living room type setting. And I'm like, hey man, you're gonna be like, you're gonna be like big famous from this. You got a lot of scenes from with Denzel. He's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be, yeah, yeah, I guess so, right? But he was already famous. So like at that point, he didn't like me at, <laughs> after like, it, it was, he had a little bit like, he had some type of feeling about me after that because I basically insulted him. I didn't know it till I got home and, and looked him up. You know, what's uh, next in your career? But the next thing is definitely townies. And uh, yeah, that, I mean, that's my life's work right there, man. So 
I want to do that. In that film, I play a boxer. It's a lot different from the one on YouTube. I play a boxer, a champion boxer, and um, I kind of get dragged into a bunch of crap because my father's on the run and we rob drug dealers at nighttime. Like I'm boxing during the day and at nighttime robbing drug dealers. And then one of my father's competitors wants me to work for him and rob, rob drug dealers for him. So, and that's the conflict. 